Tonight, the Flint Water Task Force has issued its report. What went wrong and how to make sure it doesn't happen again? And there are some serious questions. Was the crisis environmental racism? Was the task force completely independent from the governor's office? Seven investigator Jim Kirchner in Flint tonight with those answers for us. This report says the Flint water crisis is an environmental injustice. Flint is largely African American. 40% of the population lives under the poverty line. The governor has repeatedly said that's not why Flint was neglected. And he reiterated today that this is not environmental racism. Environmental injustice is not about um, overt acts of racism. It's not about motivation. It's not, not about deliberate attacks on a, a certain population group. I don't know if you can conclude it was a racial issue by any means, um, but I can't answer that question. What I would say is, is I think there's more work we need to do, not just on the race question, but economically disadvantaged places. But get this, sources say this right-hand man to the governor, Rich Baird, was closely working with the task force, maybe too closely for it to be independent. Baird was given access to this web-based project management tool called Basecamp, where task force members shared their work and personal conversations. Did he have access to Basecamp? I think he had some access to Basecamp at some point, but then we just took at the very beginning. The beginning. Task force members revealing it was not just Rich Baird. Uh, we saw the list of names and we said, these people do not uh, need to be on it. We don't want them on it. And who else other than Rich Baird? I can't even remember who you was. said it. names plural. I, you know, I just remember at the very beginning they included it. You know, I know Rich's name was on there, but we kicked them off. Nothing contaminated this report in terms of its independence and its integrity and its findings and its recommendations. The governor left before we could ask him about all of that. The work continues here in Flint to fix everything. The water here is still not safe to drink, and it is not known when it will be. In Flint, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.